Welcome to Japan Issues. Role of NATO after Cold War. Black Hand which opens Pandora's box in Russia-Ukraine conflict. I would like tentatively to share the contents of the article carried in the People's Daily Online dated April 28. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said recently that the Ukraine crisis could plunge more than one-fifth of humanity, or up to 1.7 billion people, into poverty and hunger. The US-led NATO can't absolve itself of responsibility in opening the Pandora's box in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. In a discussion he had with the former Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev in early 1990s, then U.S. Secretary of State James Baker gave the not one inch eastward assurance about NATO expansion. However, the U.S. led NATO broke this promise, engaging in a five round eastward expansion of more than 1,000 kilometers toward the Russian border and increasing the number of its members from 16 to 30 pushing Russia into a corner with each step. In 1997, George Kennan, the former U.S. ambassador to the Soviet Union, stated that expanding NATO would be the most fateful error of American policy in the entire post-Cold War era. Now, this prediction has come true. The Ukraine crisis has brought about a measurable impact to the world. However, NATO is still stuck in a Cold War mentality and continues to add fuel to the fire and create division and confrontation. The key to close the Pandora's box is in the hands of the U.S. and NATO. They should soberly reflect on their disgraceful roles in the Ukraine crisis and assume their due responsibility. In relation, the People's Daily Online on April 27 carried the following article. With the title, Roles of NATO After End of Cold War cancer cells of international conflicts. Since the end of the Cold War over 30 years ago, the U.S.-led NATO has instigated conflicts and wars across the world by pursuing interests emphasizing America first and Western supremacy. As a result, the international community has been beset by turmoil and upheavals. According to an article recently published by Spanish media organization Rebellion, the insatiable desires of the NATO are the root causes and cancer cells of all these conflicts. In order to establish a unipolar world, the U.S.-led NATO carried out an aerial bombing campaign against the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and a barbaric missile attack on the Chinese embassy in Yugoslavia. NATO has waged a number of wars against other sovereign states, turning tens of millions of people in countries such as Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, and Syria into refugees. To gain geopolitical advantages, NATO has instigated color revolutions across the world, trying to exploit local disputes. For countries that do not blindly follow NATO, including Russia, North Korea, Iran, and Venezuela, NATO has wantonly wielded the big stick of unilateral sanctions, including economic, political and technological sanctions, and imposed long-arm jurisdiction. Drawing ideological lines, engaging in bloc politics, and pursuing militarism, NATO, specter of the Cold War, is a villain in the international community. In addition, the People's Daily Online on April 26 carried the following article, with the title, Role of NATO After End of Cold War, Pawn for U.S. in Seeking Hegemony. After the Cold War, there was no reason for NATO to continue to exist. However, the military bloc, instead of disintegrating like the Warsaw Pact, became a tool of American power. Seeking polarization and hegemony throughout the world. From supporting continuous eastward expansion, to instigating the Russia-Ukraine conflict, Washington has led NATO to engage in various actions, which not only added constant pressure on Russia, but also deepened the divide between Russia and Europe, leading to an increase in Europe's reliance on the U.S. While all of these actions were not obviously associated with each other, Washington had an aim in planning these events. Washington's goal was to maintain U.S. 
hegemony throughout the world by creating controllable chaos. The U.S. has decades of experience in this respect, and similar practices applied by Washington in declaring wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Syria, are easily noticeable. NATO repeatedly served as a pawn for the U.S. in supporting America's war in Afghanistan and airstrikes in Syria. These military operations, carried out by the U.S., under the guise of peace, democracy, and human rights, caused massive civilian causalities and extensive property damage. The Ukraine crisis once again proves that the U.S. hegemony is the fuse for global instability and the U.S. is the largest perpetrator of turmoil in the world. That's all for now. Thank you for your interest.